Hi Gemini, I hope that you're doing well. I send you much love and light. So this is going to be a love reading for you. Let's take a look and see what spirit shows us today about your love life. What messages are going to come through? I don't really know. I'm just going to open myself up and see whatever it is that spirit wants to tell you guys about your love life in June. Okay, my name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. I do hope that you guys enjoy this reading. If you do, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's just jump right into it, Gemini. All right, before I begin, just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. A look into your love life. I can see where there's a lot of worry on someone's mind. Leo's energy has come through. Is anyone thinking of a Leo? Or maybe there's just cross watchers and that's their energy, Gemini, and they're watching your reading. Or maybe that's your own moon or rising sign. I feel like there's definitely going to be a turnaround. It almost feels like when push comes to shove. I feel like you guys are going to feel like you're being treated the way that you deserve to be treated. The respect that you deserve to see directed towards you, I feel like you're going to. So I wonder if any of you here are in a place right now where when it comes to love, you just feel like you're worried or maybe you even feel like you're kind of afraid to fully open yourself up to it. Like you have a fear, like something could go wrong because that's exactly what this energy is like. The seven of cups upright is fantasies daydreams it's a very euphoric feeling and it's just kind of like being swept up in it being on cloud nine and like enjoying it when you see this energy come in reverse it's like it's like yes feeling all of those things but then letting this overwhelming sense of worry turn those positive thoughts into worrisome thoughts so i wonder if any of you experience this now because it could be spirit showing us into the present. You know, I won't take it away from you if you feel like that's your vibe now. Or it could even be spirit revealing to you what's going on with your person. Because it really is almost like I'm afraid to be happy. Or I think like, if I'm too happy, am I going to be, is it all going to fall is it all going to fall? Is, is the floor going to come out from underneath me? That that's, that's what's kind of on someone's mind. But I do know this. What I can see happening is the way that that energy turns around. These really do go hand in hand. The seven and the eight of wands together. The eight of wands upright is like uh, someone letting all this passion that's trying to come to them, all of this positive energy and all of these good vibes and positive experiences, communication all, represents all of that. That is like opening up the door and letting it all come in. So whoever it is that has been worrisome and maybe even has kept the other one at arm's length or maybe even has gone as far as not speaking to them, blocking them, not allowing this person's communications to come through, definitely blocking every attempt to bond, definitely blocking every attempt um, for this one to communicate with them and shower them with affection and attention. I know that that energy is going to turn around. So if any of you here watching feel like you resonate with this and your person is the one that can kind of um, get in their own head. If you know your person is the one that tends to be anxious and worrisome, and you know that this person that you have on your mind uh, is one that has kept you at arm's length, 
that you're going to see a huge shift and turnaround in their energy where they're not going to push you away anymore. They're not going to uh, shut down anymore. And don't think I'm saying that this person has done anything that's like particularly like mean. It's not that kind of vibe. It's more like someone that's just so worried about something going wrong. And you know, that stems from somewhere. That's just not out of the blue. Maybe there's circumstances in their life that uh, they felt like they thought something was a sure thing and it turned out to like f fall and slip through the cracks and, and you know, kind of slip through their hands. They could just be carrying that residual energy. But I'm telling you that in June, I see that shifting and I see you being put up on a pedestal where you really feel like I'm being honored, I'm being respected. I'm like in the position that I deserve to be in. I see someone treating you very well, making you feel like you're special and important. So it's a general reading. So I'm just kind of reading it in, in all different directions for you, Gemini. Depends on which side of this you're on. Because some of you here know that that's your person. And it's good news. The message is coming through from spirit that they're not going to like push you away anymore. So there's definitely such a sense of closeness. And when the two of you become close in June, you could be the one that feels this way, like you're being treated special the way that you deserve to be special. But then it's also your person's energy where they're um, letting you care for them, um, where they're accepting your attempts to bond with them, your attempts to show them affection and attention. And it could even be their energy as well, where they feel special. But for others of you, if you feel like this is your own energy and you know that you totally resonate with with, uh, you know, being afraid to fully open yourself up and let this person in. I can see that you're going to do that. I just feel like there's such an opportunity to get caught up in a very special moment with this person. I see you having a very intimate and special moment where the two of you bond very deeply and it just feels like uh, time stops for a minute. It's something that feels like it's that pivotal change. That's what brings that pivotal change. So it could be you and this person, you go out and you you share a very special time together or you just sit there and it's like you're not thinking about what happened before. You're not thinking about the future, but like a moment in time in June where you and this person are just so in tune with each other that it's like there's no one else around. So that's what I feel is going to bond you to them. And that's the moment that's going to get you to open yourself up to this person. If you here watching are the one that I can see that is keeping them at arm's length. All of that's about to change. And you know what? I feel like it's even spirit advising you to open up and give this a chance because of the way that you're going to feel. You're going to feel like you're being treated the way that you really deserve to be treated. I don't see you regretting it if you open up to this person. I want to look further into that three of wands. Because the three of wands in reverse is like that moment where time stands still in a very special way. Isn't that funny? Because look at all this. First of all, the page of swords in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse. If that doesn't say time standing still, I don't know what else does. Um, it's just like a moment of clarity and realization. That's what I feel is going to happen for the person that's holding back. And anyone here watching that's wondering how to bring that moment about or what do I say? What do I do? Do I need to be in the right place at the right time? No, don't worry so much about that because it's something that's going to fall into place um, depending on your circumstances in the connection. I just know that I can see it happening. And the message of advice from spirit is don't worry so much about like when and how to try to manifest it in because it's already going to manifest itself. It's because I feel like the two of you are meant to progress. You're meant to move forward. And someone here is like, you know, meant to be put up on that pedestal and being treated very well. And even the page of swords in reverse is a beautiful sign. And look at these more signs here. It's more signs about dropping my defenses and not being suspicious. 
and being in the moment where I realize for myself this person's intentions towards me. Isn't that funny? Because then you see Sagittarius' energy and then the three of wands is now coming in upright. So that says a lot about that moment in time that I can see in June when things turn around in the connection. So is this a Sagittarius that you're thinking of, Gemini? It could be. It could be also cross watchers here just watching your reading or your own moon or rising sign. I feel like in that moment, the two of you will really open up and say things to each other that needs to be said. I also think that you're going to see uh, their intentions towards you because for whoever it is that's been holding back and really questioning the other one's intentions like are you here for the long run it or is this a, a deep connection to you or is it just a shallow connection to you um i think that this person is going to show you and prove it to you what this means to them that it's so much more than just anything that's like physical or sexual or shallow that they are in this for the long haul and you know what for some of you it's when you start talking about plans for the future that you feel safe and you can open up and things turn around for you some of you have been have been really wanting uh, stability and consistency and you've been really wanting to talk about future plans and I feel like I can see you know I can see into all of those energies so for for some of you here that could be what you want for others of you it's other you know the other messages that have come through from spirit I just know that I see a huge turnaround um, where someone goes from worrying to feeling like at peace and their mind is at ease where they go from like pushing the other one away to fully letting them in. And it's after a conversation, a very special and memorable moment in time that I feel I feel will be unforgettable for you because I think you'll know right then and there that that's the moment where things really turn around in the connection and things change for us. Whether it's you opening yourself up, Gemini, or you feeling like this person opens up to you because the overall energy for your love life is the empress and that just represents so many things it represents marriage it represents commitment it represents respect so that's what i can see going on in june i do hope that you guys enjoyed the reading there is another reading posted on my channel if you want to check that out i'll probably link it below or put um a card somewhere around here for that if you guys enjoyed this reading leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe i love you so much gemini Happy Gemini season and I will see you in the next reading.